Muhammad Sulaiman and Assalamu alaikum. So today's topic is all about the major seas of the world as I promised. So let's begin what are the major seas of the ocean. But before starting, I would like to ask you to subscribe my channel, The Allrounder, and hit the bell icon if you want to get the notification for my next videos. So let's begin. So the major seas and first I will discuss the major seas of the ocean I have categorized them. So let's begin from the Pacific Ocean. So the Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean of the world and the deepest too. So let's begin. It has many seas but I have done the major seas. I will tell you. The, so, so first of all is the Japan Sea. So the Japan Sea is located near uh, between japan the japan is the land of sunrise the sun rises from it so it's the easternmost country so that's why we call it the uh, sunrise land so it's uh, located between japan and north korea it, it is located between them and uh, the north korea is uh, is beside the china but i will i won't discuss north korea now so let's begin let's move on to the next sea that is the south china sea so the south china sea borders china china is the neighboring country of pakistan and it borders china it borders Bru brunei and it borders indonesia and it uh, yes it borders these three countries and indonesia is the largest country with the islands Right, so let's move on to the next sea, uh, that is the Philippine Sea. So the Philippine Sea borders Philippine, of course, the Philippine, the Japan, I just told you, the Sunrise Land. And the next one is the Indonesia once again. And Indonesia is also the first, the fourth most populated country in the world. So Indonesia has many uh, islands, so if you look at it, uh, if you concentrate on it in on the world map, you will be crazy. It's so many islands. So let's move on to the Atlantic Ocean. The main seas of the Atlantic Ocean are the Mediterranean Sea. So the Mediterranean Sea is landlocked, and it is between the Europe and the Asia, uh, and the Africa. So it is uh, between Europe and Africa. It is landlocked, and its color is so light, so blue, and I like it. It's so pure. So I like it. So let's move on to the next sea. That is the Caribbean Sea. So the Caribbean Sea is uh, located in the middle, uh, middle America, right? And between the North and the South America is the Middle America, and it uh, it is between Mexico and Venezuela. It borders these countries. So let's move on to the next sea. That is the Labrador Sea, and that is between Greenland and Canada. That is between Greenland and Canada, so imagine it would be so cold, oh, freezing. So it would be so cold. So this, these whole uh, seas were the seas of uh, Atlantic Ocean. So I will discuss the seas of Indian Ocean. So Indian Ocean has many seas, but I will discuss the Red Sea first. The Red Sea. Oh, is it really red? Yes, its color is red because it's blue green. So it's it's like red, uh, reddish brown. So it, that's why we call it the Red Sea. So it doesn't have chilies inside them. So it's red. It, it is salty. And it's the most saltiest uh, sea in the world. So let's move on to the next sea. Um, it borders Africa and the Arabia. It, border, it is between these two uh, continents or countries. So let's begin. Let's move on to the next. That is the Arabian Sea. So the Arabian Sea borders India. Pakistan, Oman's Gulf, Oman's Gulf, and Iran. So it borders these countries. So the Indus also flows inside them, the Indus River of Pakistan. And have you seen the Arabian Sea from the Karachi port? It's, it's very nice. So let's move on. That is the Java Sea. That is between Sumatra and Indonesia. Indonesia, I've told you much about that. So it's between them. It's not very big, but it's nice. So let's move to the Arctic, uh, to the Southern Ocean Sea. So the Southern Ocean Sea are all frozen though. So I do not have, I will not tell the information about them because it's all frozen. But I will tell the main oceans, uh, the seas uh, that are the Ross Sea and the Weddell Sea. So let's move on to the Arctic Ocean Seas that are the Baltic Sea that is between Europe and Scandinavian countries. 
Scandinavian countries mean the countries the Norway, Finland, Sweden, these type of countries and it's between them and it borders Denmark and the Europe and Russia and other countries but the Scandinavia and the Europe we say that. Right. And then it's the Norwegian Sea that is between two sea that are the Greenland Sea and the North Sea. And the last one is the Bering Sea that its job is to divide America and Eurasia. No, you don't have to be too puzzled. The Eurasia means Asia and Europe. When we say them collectively, we say Eurasia. Right. So the next uh, we will we discuss that it divides them the uh, America and the Eurasia. So let's move on. There are some more seas like the Caspian Sea. It is landlocked. So we also say that it is the biggest lake of the world. But uh, it's uh, so large in size, so that's why we say that it's a sea. And then we say that it's a uh, there are, is a black sea, and the black sea is between. Uh, it's black. Its color is black because of the hydrogen sulfide. There's much quantity of hydrogen sulfide in, in it, and it uh, borders East Europe and Western uh, Asia. And the last one I'm gonna tell you is the Dead Sea. Is it dead? No, it's not dead, but nothing can live in it. Uh, though no marine life can live it uh, in live in it. No uh, plants can live in it. So uh, it's so salty. So that's why. So that's why we call it the Dead Sea. So these were the major seas of the world. We learned the seas of the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, Arctic and Southern Ocean Sea. And then we learned some different seas like Caspian Sea, Black Sea and Dead Sea. So Black, uh, so Black Sea is so black because of the hydrogen sulfide in it. And the Red Sea's color is also red. And many other things we learned. So this was our today's lecture. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel, The All Rounders, and hit the bell icon if you want to get the notification for my next videos. My next video will be very nice and informative. So stay tuned for that. Goodbye.